The overall goal of the following experiment is to test whether a particular DNA variant, such as one associated with a disease, has an effect on the expression of a particular gene. This is achieved by selecting cell lines that are heterozygous for both this variant and a coding SNP in the gene of interest. As a second step, DNA and RNA are extracted from the cells and then used as template for an allele-specific primer extension reaction. Next, primer extension products are analyzed by mass spectrometry in order to quantify the relative abundance of the two alleles. Results are obtained that show whether the original DNA variant associated with a disease is also associated with a difference in gene expression based on quantitative allele-specific measurements by mass spectrometry. The main advantages of this technique are that unlike with a luciferase reporter gene assay, it doesn't require molecular manipulation and it measures endogenous levels of gene expression. Moreover, we're able to compare levels of expression between the two alleles in an internally controlled way, which removes some of the experimental variability. This method helps us answer key questions in the field of human genetics, such as the molecular mechanisms underlying genetic associations. We first set the idea of this method when we identify a genetic association spanning three genes and could not refine the signal to a single one by further genetic mapping. The cells used for this assay should express the gene of interest as well as meet two fundamental genotypic requirements. They have to be heterozygous both for the DNA sequences.